You guys seem to love our first smoothie video so much, I thought it was time for round two. Today I'm sharing five more delicious healthy breakfast smoothie recipes. Today I'm going to be sharing a plum dandy smoothie, an amazing green goodness smoothie, a wonderful berries and beets smoothie, a funky monkey smoothie, and finally a pumpkin pie smoothie that actually tastes a lot like dessert. I absolutely love this gorgeous purple smoothie because it features both grapes and plums and it really has the perfect balance of sweetness and tartness. It's a great way to start off your day. So to our blender we're going to start by adding some almond milk. Now you could also use dairy milk, soy milk or hemp milk. Any milk will really do. You just want to make sure that you're adding your liquids first closest to the blade. That really helps these smoothies blend up beautifully. To that we are going to add some Concord grapes. Now this is the perfect season for them. They're so delicious. They're sweet and sour which I absolutely love. We're also going to add two beautiful plums that I've just sliced up and then a banana for smoothness. Now if you don't want to add the banana you could also add some Greek yogurt here or a little bit of avocado. Basically we're just trying to create sort of that creamy texture that makes smoothies so delicious. And presto you have a gorgeous purple drink that's perfect for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Next up is our green goodness smoothie which I love because it features a whole lot of vegetables. The base of this green smoothie is going to be some green tea. I just brewed some green tea and let it cool. Now I'm going to add it to my blender. Now green tea contains a ton of antioxidants and obviously has no calories so it's the perfect base for smoothies. And this was actually a suggestion by my good friend Melissa Maker who's also a great YouTuber. You should check out her channel. It's called Clean My Space. To our green tea we are going to add half an avocado for creaminess, half an apple, some sliced cucumber, a celery stalk and then some fresh baby kale. Now you could also use baby spinach in this recipe that would work just as well. As you can see this recipe contains a lot of vegetables so it won't be as sweet as the other recipes that I've shared before but it packs a ton of nutrition and is so so great on the go. Next up is our berries and beets smoothie. Now don't be afraid if you're not into beets this is the perfect way to hide them so you can't even taste them. So we're going to start by pouring half a cup of almond milk and half a cup of yogurt into our blender. To that we are going to add one whole beet that I've peeled and cooked. Now if you're not familiar with how to cook beets you can look it up online or stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing some great beet recipes in just a few weeks. To that we are going to add some strawberries and some blueberries for some added sweetness and even more antioxidant power. I definitely recommend freezing your fruit before you add them to the smoothie. That way you don't need to water these down with any ice. This baby is good enough to drink. Next up is our funky monkey smoothie. I love it because it mixes up three of my favorite flavors chocolate, banana and peanut butter. Now the base for this smoothie again is almond milk. You can use dairy, soy or hemp. Any will do. To that we are going to add a half a cup of Greek yogurt for protein and then a scoop of chocolate flavored protein powder to amp up the protein even further. Then we are going to add two peeled bananas and one heaping tablespoon of peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Press blend. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Finally I'm excited to share with you my pumpkin pie smoothie recipe. This smoothie is so delicious you won't even be able to tell that it's good for you. So to our blender we are adding our almond milk and some yogurt. To that we are going to add some pumpkin puree. You can buy this stuff in cans. It's super easy to find. And then some shredded carrot for even more nutrition. To that we are going to add a drizzle of maple syrup and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Press blend and oh my gosh it's like dessert in a glass. So so good. I hope you'll give these five incredible smoothie recipes a try and that they help your mornings run a little more smoothly. And be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo of what you're coming up with in your own kitchen. I absolutely love seeing your pics. And finally if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.